Hello my friends and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be taking a look at the Lobo 2. Now I made a teaser on this video a while back saying that it was going to be out soon and then it never showed up. Well actually once the weather got nice and um well the weather did get nice and I was going to film it. Then my allergies came back and then the weather went down like 30 degrees. It was really dumb and so finally coming out with a video the literally there has been rain snow or such high wind speed or it's just so cold it's you can't take the rc cars out um today is one of the first days that you can actually like have any rc car out and even today it's all overcast so i'm just hoping that we can film a couple more videos before rain comes again so anyway um uh, if you haven't seen the last video go check it out i'm going to recap just a little bit this one's an antique rc car if you couldn't already tell um this was actually a pretty nice one for the time. It's got a pretty decent sized motor, but the antenna on the remote is pretty big. <laughs> and it's a Sears RC car that is also from Radio Shack. So like, yeah, as you can see, it has reverse, stop, low, and turbo. And the car, one special thing about it is it has a low and a high gear. So, it's actually decently fast, especially for how old all the batteries are, because these batteries are literally from the 1980s, and I'm charging it on a charger from the 1980s, but look at that. It'll still actually go, so that's a little bit of just low speed action. This thing also doesn't have brakes, so it's going to have to coast everywhere. Oh, let's get these cords out of the way here. And now let's put it in the high. So it's actually a really annoying thing. You have to make sure you're like lined up perfectly with the high gear, and it's actually kind of hard to do. But anyway, um, now that we've got that all set up, now let's see what we're do. As you can see now, it's a lot faster. And it actually has decent range. I mean, that's turbo speed, it looks like. Sure, for an RC car now, isn't that impressive, but back in 1988, this thing would have been something to see. Especially because in the frame, I can't quite get it up to full speed. Um, it also has independent suspension in the front, not in the rear though, which is now pretty standard. Non-oil filled shocks because that wasn't very common back then. Um, so yeah, I'd like to thank you all for watching and um, again I'd like to apologize for no uploads for a really long time. And so um, I guess that that's going to wrap it up, so have an amazing rest of your day.